Hi, today we're talking about Ohm's Law. And for this first problem, it says an electric heater carries a current of 12.5 amps when operating at a voltage of 300 volts. What is the resistance of the heater? Well, first we look at Ohm's Law. And Ohm's Law says resistance is going to equal voltage over current. Now, we know that resistance is ohms, which is equal to kilograms times meter squared over amp squared times second cube. Right? And we know that, so that's R. So for V, we've got V, which is going to be in volts, and that is going to be equal to kilograms times meter squared over amps times seconds cubed. So let's say you uh, let's say you wanted to find voltage, and all you had was current and resistance. So if you were to take current say you're to take some current and which is measured in amps so you would say uh, resistance resistance times current are amps and what's going to happen is one of those A's is going to cancel off and this is now going to be equal to this and so now you have volts and so it's really good uh, to get familiar with the units and of course uh, I, which is current, is going to be amps, and that's just that. So it's easy. Anyway, so getting back to the problem. So we are looking for resistance. So we're looking for resistance, and we've got volts, which is 300 volts over 12.5 amps. Okay, so we got. 12.5 amps and that is going to give us our resistance and we get 24 ohms All right, so it's going to leave you with 24 ohms so 24 alright so that's pretty easy and you're just kind of manipulating ohms law for these problems so for the second part, it says a person notices a mild shock if the current along a path through the thumb and index finger exceeds 88 microamps. Compare the maximum voltage without a shock across the thumb and index finger with a dry skin resistance of 5 times 10 to the 5th ohms and a wet skin resistance of 1500 ohms. So now we're just going to set this problem up to equal V because that's what we're looking for. So we know that V, uh, so we know that V is going to equal current times resistance. So we set it up, we, uh, we've got the current which is going to be steady at 88 microamps. So you say, so you got 88 microamps, which would be written uh, 88 times 10 to the negative 6 amps okay. times times 5 times 10 to the 5th ohms it's going to equal our volts for the first one and when we do that when we do that we get 44 volts so when you have dry skin you can take a decent amount of volts um, alright now for the second part we do the same thing where we say 88 microamps or uh, Let's just say 8.8, .8, I'm sorry, 88 times 10 to the negative 6, because this micro is a negative 6. 
times 1500 ohms it's going to give us 0.132 volts 0.132 volts so at this amperage without being able to feel this mild shock the voltage would have to be 0.132 volts with uh, wet skin so you can tell that since water is a conductivity or is a good conductor of electricity uh, when your hands are wet you're going to feel the shock a lot easier than if they were dry and that is how you do those problems pretty easy